Everything landed? Hey, do me a huge favor and run those back quick. Thank you, buddy. Car keys. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, welcome back to Family and Fit, where we talk fitness and how to integrate it in your busy lifestyle. So, today we'll be discussing why should you even diet? Why should you even get in shape? Um, you know, is it really worth it? What What are the benefits? What are the What are the cons of it? So, like, what are the pros and cons type of dealio? Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. It's going to give you a few pointers on, on why I think fitness is such a big dealio. Um, so, we'll start off by saying that, you know, fitness has such a snowballing effect on positivity. Um, you know, so say for instance, if you're if you're out of shape or if you've ever been out of shape, you kind of know that feeling where you wake up in the morning and you just you don't feel good about yourself. You look in the mirror and you're just like not really grossed out, but just just don't feel positive about yourself. Like, you know, I'm getting pretty lean, and I still sometimes look at myself and I'm like, huh, I don't really like it because I got a little bit of chub on my belly or whatever. But so yeah. Just waking up in the morning and feeling like that, um, you know, could could kind of run your day. I mean, it already starts your day off kind of bad. Well, you know, as you start to get in shape and you start to work out, your body starts to look better and you start to feel better about yourself. So, you start to look better. That's one of the positives. You're you're gonna feel better about yourself because of looking better. You're gonna feel better about yourself because you're going to the gym. A lot of the stuff is you're just gonna feel better about yourself. Um, but it's like different reasons why you feel better about yourself. Like, so you're gonna feel better about yourself because you're doing some physical activity. You're feeling better about yourself because you're probably gonna be healthier because you're getting a little bit of cardiovascular uh, exercise in, and that's better than just sitting on the couch. You're doing something positive with your life, so that's another reason why you're gonna feel good about yourself. Um, and like as I've already discussed, you're gonna start looking better, um, and then you start getting that that snowball effect I was talking about. What's another reason why why you want to work out? Oh, another reason why somebody may want to work out is as you get to become looking better. Um, if you have if you have a significant other, that person's gonna be more attracted to you, which means there's gonna be more sexuality there. Um, if you're single, if you're single, then uh, it's gonna be easier to pull girls. It's gonna be easier for girls to be attracted to you. I mean, think about it. You want to be with the most attractive person you can potentially be with, right? Same thing goes with the, with your partner or whoever it is that you may be with. You know, they're gonna want you to look as good as possible. So, one, you're gonna go back to the hoe of just feeling good about yourself because you look good. And then you're gonna get start getting compliments from your significant other or other people around you, and that's gonna give you a boost of confidence and making you feel better. Um, and it just like overall just goes back to making you feel better. Um, yeah, and it's just having like you know your significant other start to get super super attractive over you is uh, it's, it's a super great feeling. It's probably one of the best feelings that you could have over the whole entire thing. That and just other people saying, man, you're looking good. Man, I can tell that, you know, this progress is paying off. Like, com compliments like that and comments like that are, uh, you know, that's what really, really makes it. And that's what, you know, truly makes it worth it. Besides just waking up every morning and feeling good about yourself. You know, you're, 
depending on how bad your health is, you're gonna start being able to breathe better. You're gonna start being able to you know, walk upstairs and not be out of breath. You're gonna uh, just be able to do so many different things and, and just feel better, you know? You're not gonna go on a short walk and already feel wore out. You're not gonna feel as tired. Um, a lot of times whenever you, after you get to working out for a while and you start getting in better shape, you'll have more energy to do stuff. Um, now given I'm, I'm so tired all the time, I also go super hard on my workouts. Uh, my body's always preparing itself because I don't, I don't give it uh, breaks weekly. I give it breaks like on a, on a monthly basis, so it may be like a couple months before I even get a break. So I'm kind of, my body's constantly working, so I'm a little bit wore out all the time. But you know, it, it, I take my I, my training pretty pretty aggressively and uh, pretty seriously. Fitness could be something that that uh. You, you, your partner, your other friends, or whatever that you can really get into, and something that you can do together that can be positive. Um, you know, like me and my little brother, we work out. Yeah, and it's pretty fun. We go to the gym together. It gives us something fun to do, some physical activity to do. Um, and you know, we have a 24-hour gym, so we can do it at any time of the day. And it's like not many places are open 24 hours a day, so it's pretty awesome to you know go at 10 o'clock at night whenever the only places that are open are Walmart's and. Uh, be able to have some fun, get a, get a good lift in, be a little bit competitive, be a little bit goofy. Just get out of the house, you know. Sometimes it's just good just mentally to get out of the house. But yeah, really enjoy working out with my brother and my fiance. Um, and once you uh, basically work, start working out, people around you start working out too. Especially. Yeah, yeah, it's really good, yeah. So like, my brother just mentioned that, you know, when you start to work out, it can cause other people to work out around you. And you know, I kind of see that. Like my brother working out, he probably wouldn't work out if I didn't work out. He wouldn't have nobody to take him or anybody to go with or anything like that. And so you can, by you working out, you can help other people around you get in shape, whether you even ask them to work out with you or not. There's people that I that I know that are taking a conscious, uh, making a conscious decision to to uh, diet better and to watch their weight and I think it's because just being around me and watching me care about my weight, watching me care about my fat percentage and, and they, they, they see that and they want to be like, man, you know, maybe I should care a little bit more. So that's just really good, the fact that it kind of spreads, the positivity, positivity spreads. Um, another thing that, that fitness ha will definitely bring is that your testosterone levels will start to boost it up. Now this is mainly for males, um, females as well. But, but here's the thing with the whole testosterone thing, and it's not just testosterone, but psychologically, it will give you like a testosterone, maybe placebo effect. Because um, you just feel more confident about yourself. You feel confident and you feel like, kind of like that feeling like you just have your chest poked out and your head held high and it carries through everywhere in life. Uh, like, I've made some pretty good progress at work as far as my position within the company, and I think a lot of that is due to the fact of fitness. Uh, also education, because I just consistently educate myself, but fitness has a big role in it too, because it's allowed me to have more of a confidence in all areas of life that I would not have probably had if it wasn't for fitness. And uh, fitness helps you, like, if you're an engineer, you're something like that, it can help you be stronger and basically, uh, like mentally. And it, po it actually can earn more money if you do. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so, yeah, like, fitness just, like, spreads off into everything. So he's, like, saying you can make more money because of it. And, like, what? How can you make more money because of fitness? Like, be a fitness trainer or something? No, not, not even that. Like, just be... Uh, it just it being call, like because you it, it you stronger, you can do advanced, advanced engineering, which is a lot more money than regular engineering. Yeah, so he's saying he's saying like uh, you know, you're you're gonna have mental clarity because you're working out. So you're gonna have the confidence. You're gonna have mental clarity. You're gonna feel just really clean and, and that, that that nice clean energy. And you can utilize that nice, clean energy to, to get a better job, to educate yourself more, to do things to advance your life in other aspects. And this is why fitness has such a big snowballing effect. People don't realize the positivity that it spreads throughout your life. I mean, it's like a... I don't even know how to explain. It's like tree roots that root underneath the ground. It just, just keeps rooting out in different directions and, and touching every aspect of your life. 
You know, you could potentially have somebody who's on their deathbed and get to working out with them and completely change their whole entire life. Um, and so, yeah, uh, the mental clarity thing is a big thing as well. I intermittent fast, and in the short term, it, it, it um, hinders your mental clarity. But in the long term, like, I feel like you just think clearer, you uh, think better. It, it can uh, help with food addiction. You know, so there's different dieting methods and stuff like that that can help with you know food addictions. Um, and after you conquer a food addiction and you realize that like food is an actual addiction, it can kind of open your eyes to maybe something like smoking and you realize, man, I actually am addicted to smoking because a lot of people don't think they're addicted to food. And it, it's truly, truly a potential thing. Like I was definitely 100% addicted to food. Um, and just intermittent fasting showed that because I, I went from feeling like I was gonna die at 11 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, really, not eating breakfast, just skipping breakfast. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, I feel like I'm about to die, I'm about to starve to death. Like my stomach's eating itself. And uh, you know, I, I stretch that out to 11, I stretch that out to noon, and now I'm stretching that all the way out to like three, three five o'clock in the evening. I mean like one meal a day, one meal and like a snack. That's pretty much it, my Monday through Thursday. And uh, yeah, I mean it's just great. And, and so learning different dieting methods will allow you to uh, be able to eat, kind of eat what you want. You know, different dieting methods along with fitness will allow you to be able to eat what you want. Because I intermittent fast Monday through Thursday and Friday, I can pretty much eat what I want Saturday and Sunday. Matter of fact, Sunday we ate donuts. Like, uh, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty lean right now. I'm, I'm getting gonna get leaner. Um, I just look at that that Saturday and Sunday as a refeed day and kind of like a bulking day, like a day for gaining muscle. So I make sure I hit heavy hard lifts. And, uh, and go as hard as I can on those lifts. There's not a good setup in here, dude. I need a good setup. Like, something to do with, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but then I lose my camera. My lens. My, my jig. My, my screen! <laughs> Alright, guys. So, let me know if you like this type of content. Um, and also, let me know what you think that are the positive things of fitness. What are the cons? Oh, cons, sorry, I forgot about cons. Cons, uh, you lose time. That, that's what it is. And your body's sore, your body's sore. What, what else is? I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's not too many cons to working out. I guess you could injure yourself uh, if you don't know what you're doing and if you're not careful, you don't yeah, warm up properly. Gym, like <laughs> yeah, if you swing weights around, you're probably gonna hurt yourself. Um, yeah, I tried that, that was good. Haters, you're gonna get some hate. People are gonna hate on you. They're gonna be like, why are you working out? It's a waste of time. People just hate. So, make sure to get in the comments down below. Let me know what are some positives of fitness for you. What makes it such a, a, a game changer? What the fuck am I trying to say? Um, game changer, I don't know. Game, yeah, well that's what I was gonna say, but no, I mean like overall one way to say. Uh, like, what? Why do you do fitness? Why are you thinking about doing fitness? What do you think would be the major pros for you? Do you think there's any more cons than what I mentioned? Um, and, and I didn't mention much cons because it ain't even worth mentioning. It's so positive that the positives outweigh the cons. Just demolish it, smash it. Oh, also smash that thumbs up button while we're talking about smashing things. Uh, Hit that subscribe but, button while you're, while you're at it. Oh yeah, hit that subular button over there and uh, yeah, I hope to see y'all in the next video, and I hope to see your comments below. Unwatch this video if you didn't comment below, and tell me what you think these pros are. Alright guys, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Uh, later Gator.